away from tip-off. There is John Starks. He's been a little bit of a slump lately offensively, but he does play Michael Jordan very well. Not only that, but Patrick Ewing, of course, playing against the center by committee for the Chicago Bulls, who will be Will Perdue, Luke Longley, and Bill Wennington, and, of course, Tony Kukoc starting at the power forward spot, and he'll be dealing with Charles Oakley. And there is number 45, in case you haven't heard it already. Jordan wore that number in junior high, wore it as he went to baseball for 18 months, and has returned with 45 because number 23 is retired and hanging above the rafters at the U new United Center in Chicago. So Michael comes back to New York City. He loves playing. And Purdue got a piece of that. Purdue with a block on Ewing early in the game. Kukoc on the run. Jordan, 15-footer. Look out. Jordan's return to New York City. These two teams could be matched up in the first rounds of the playoffs. Jordan is two for two to start this game. Finish on the break. Offensive boards take it strong. They're going to keep going to the well with Jordan and Starks. Double team. Oakley gets there. Too late. Oh. oh. And did you ask, is he back? <laughs> oh, come on. Like what that. a move. On the double team. Remember, Charles Oakley's a good defensive player. And Starks is quick. They will be challenged in all of the big games taking care of the defensive board. Jordan starts out on fire. Michael is four of five, has eight points in the first quarter. He had 18 versus Atlanta in the third on Saturday night. And Harper out there. All three guys are great at playing the passing line. Jordan, 16-footer. He's on fire. Michael Jordan, he only did it nine times throughout his nine-year career. In place of Kuko at power forward. Ten to shoot. Jordan, pull up. 13 points for Jordan, eight to shoot. Jordan, pull up jumper, that's a tough shot. He has 15. Now can Bonner play Michael? Oh, that, that, was, that was interesting. Long range, nothing. Michael says, yeah, he can stay with me. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Jordan, he hits three, what else? It's 20 first quarter points for Michael Jordan. It's not gonna work. Everyone else must understand that they have got to finish the play. Like that. Of course, that's Michael Jordan. Bulls were 0 for 8 in the second quarter. And Sita always lets you back. But you must shoot 5%. Just like that from Michael like Jordan, that. who yeah. has 24. Ewing being played by Pippen. There's the double team. Right into the arms of Jordan. It's two on two. Oh, oh yes, and the foul. That was like slow motion. He was just gliding, just gliding because he knew that just watch the step that he makes when he decides that he's going all the way. Boom, there it is right there, takes the bump. <laughs> and the, the beautiful control of the ball with the one hand. Uh, it feels like Beethoven has come back to right his 10th and 11th, five seconds. Four. You see it on the lower left. Jordan, three moves. Wow! 28 points for Jordan with two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Jordan loves playing starts. 30 points for Michael Jordan. He's looking on Jordan as though he's watching a virtuoso here tonight. Corey Blunt is in the game for Pippen. The reason they do not want Pippen to pick up another foul. Five to shoot. Oh, Jordan. Yes. He's fouled hard by Patrick Ewing. See, he elevated for the dunk that time. He was going dunk all the way. He fooled Starks. Starks thought that he was going to the middle. I didn't see a lot of remorse on the face of Patrick. <laughs> At the end of the first half, Knicks with a six-point lead. Opening moments, third quarter, Jordan. He has 37. Now remember, yeah, chances no. are you'll get you'll get the rebound. Yeah, you're thinking there is, is that if you miss book, you got the rebound. Jordan operating. Fell down, got rid of it to Pippen. Back to Jordan. But Michael felt that he had it. Well, just in. Regain the lead. 
they have trailed by as many as 14 in this game. It's tied with seven. This year, their differential is only 2.5. Bulls with a chance to take the lead down 80-79. 30 seconds, a three-pointer. for Michael Jordan. He has 49 points. His next field goal will break the Madison Square oh, Garden record by an opponent, and we're in the third quarter. He shot that <laughs> from the garment. Isolated against Starks, carrying five fouls. Jordan from 16. There's the record. That's the record of the most points scored against the Knicks at Madison Square Garden. Jordan's old record of 50, his new record, 51. Ice screen and roll. Jordan with 53. Ewing with 34. Starks with five fouls. Jordan's fadeaway blocked by Ewing. Starks, good pass. Look out. Dunk it. Yes. That brought him to their feet. It's tied at 107. Right now, Michael, Michael is forcing the action right now. The last three times down the floor. When they have played their best in this half, they just all played within the offense. He forced it again. Goes to oh, 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 oh. hard angle bank shot by Scotty Pippen. Or was that Sam Jones? He had a work for the. He did. Starks played him as well as you could, using his forearm to neutralize Michael as he was trying to make the penetration. And carrying five fouls. Oh, yeah. First to the left and then to the right. But then again, that's why he's the greatest. Because all he did was extend. Now, just keep an eye on it. He extends. Now, how about up people? Because they're saying, are you going to double team Jordan? If they do, if you double team, they're going to spot up. Michael! The open yes. Weddington with a jam. 3.1 remaining. Time on New York. That was outstanding. Who has been double teaming him in the lane? Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing. And that was by design in here. And one of your guys just get a piece of it and the game's over. Right there. A great win for the Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan, 50 points in this ball game the Bulls beat the Knicks